Hi, Katie Weston here, Program and Events Manager at Anderson Japanese Gardens in Rockford, Illinois. And I'm joined by my son Henry here uh, to do a fun little activity that you could do at home. And today we are making origami coats. They're very cute. Uh, we figured since it's winter and it's cold here in Illinois and most of the Midwest that making a little coat that we would need to wear outside would be cute. And I'll maybe never get these to stand up again. It's a pretty simple origami um, that doesn't take too much time to do. It should be relatively quick. I think it's like nine total steps. So Henry and I got it figured out pretty good here. So we are going to use just regular origami paper. You can buy origami paper in a variety of sizes um, or make your own. But this happened to be what I had available to me um, right away. So that's what we're going to use. If you don't have origami paper, that's okay too. We'll really quick show you um, if you don't know how to make a square piece of paper um, out of just some regular paper that you have at home um, because origami uh, does need square paper. You can't just use any old paper. It does have to be square. It can't be rectangular. So to make an, a square piece of paper out of a, just a regular piece of paper, um, we grabbed construction paper. You take one corner of the page doesn't matter which one and you're going to cross it over so that that edge meets the other side and makes the triangle yes edge to edge then you've got this little flap here just fold that flap over to meet the other edge if that makes sense so then we're folding that piece over so we just have a little triangle you can use scissors to cut it if you want, or if you just make that a really sharp fold, especially with construction paper, you can just kind of give it a good old rip. You have a little leftover piece. And if you want to watch a video from, I don't know, last year maybe, um, for our Tanabata, we made some wishing tree stuff out of our little extras there. You can go back and find that video if you want to. And then we have a square piece of paper that we can use to do our origami with. Disclaimer, this construction paper is a little more difficult to work with. It doesn't fold quite as nice as the construction paper, but I did test it out. It does work. Okay, so here we go with our origami. We're each going to take a sheet. Origami is a Japanese art. Uh, origami is the art of paper folding. And so we are artistically folding our coat today. Okay, so we're going to start with our paper and we're going to flip it um, so it's white side up. Obviously, if you're using construction paper, you won't have a white side and a colored side. Maybe you can just make a little mark on it so you know that, that you have one side is your white side and then the other side is your colored side. Um, but origami will, you know, pretty traditionally have two colors to its sides. So we're going to start with that white side up, colored side down, and we're going to take our uh, bottom edge and we're going to fold it to our top edge. And part of origami is making sure you try to line those up pretty exact. So we're going to corner to corner, edge to edge. We're going to go straight across and we're going to fold it literally in half. Once we have it folded in half, and as you can see, Henry's making sure that his fold is, is nice and um, crisp. Okay, so then we're going to open that back up. We're going to turn it so that we've got our, our fold vertical, our, our book, right. And then we're going to take that bottom again and we're going to fold it up. We're going to match corner to corner, edge to edge, make our nice crisp edge. And so we're folding it in half again. So when we open it up, it's not really easy to see. Maybe it's easier to see on the colored side. You're going to end up basically with a window pane. Okay. Now, placing it back down on the, on the table or this flat surface you're using, we're going to take that bottom edge again and we're going to fold that bottom edge into that center crease that we made. A lot of these folds in, in much of origami and this one specifically are creating like measuring tools almost. Um, I shouldn't say a lot of origami, but some. This one specifically. Not all these lines are going to necessarily be folded. They're just going to be making like measuring areas for us or, or points to fold to. Okay, so once we've folded into the center, we're gonna open that back up again. And so now, if you can see, we've got one, two folds at the top of our paper. We're gonna take that top 
edge or bottom edge when I lay it down. And we're going to fold it into that top fold that we just made. That we just made. Right. So we're going to fold that in. I'll show you quick what that means. That means it's going to look like that. Yep. Good. See? And we're going to leave that fold. Now that fold is going to stay and then we're going to fold it over itself again. So it's going to look like this. So we still have that center fold and then we've got one, two. Okay. And we're leaving it like that. Boop, boop. Okay. Now we're going to flip our paper over. So now we've got the colored side up and we still have that center fold we made. We're going to take the bottom of our paper and we're going to fold it at that crease at that center crease that we made and we're going to try to unlike what mine just did make sure that our edges are lined up flush so that we don't have them folding over and getting all wonky okay so what we did there were our two creases that we made two folds we made flipped the paper over and then we took that whole thing and we folded it over at that center crease that we had made when we started the video. Let's see, did we do it? We gotta go a little further. See that crease? There we go. Okay, so now we fold it over that center crease and this is what it looks like. Okay, looks like a little pocket. Okay, we're gonna fold that paper back over so that the white side is up. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take one edge and we're gonna fold it into the center crease that we still have. And we're folding all of the paper over into the center. Make sure that it lines up top, bottom, and middle. So then what we've done is we folded that piece into the center and make sure that it's lining up on all edges. Perfect. Yep, and now we're gonna do it on the other side. So now we're gonna take that other side, we're gonna wrap it, or Fold it, we're not wrapping, we're folding. Fold it into the center. We're used to wrapping gifts. Right? Make sure that we... not folding too much. You get it? Yeah. Okay. Henry's getting his other side. So then we're gonna have what looks like this. So we've folded both sides in. Okay, and make sure those creases are nice and get them nice and pushed down and worked out. Feeling good about it? Yeah. Nope, you gotta fold it all the way in. Yep, you had it right the first time. There you go. There you go. And push those creases down. There we go. Okay, so the next part is the hardest part of the whole thing. Okay, so the best way that I can describe this is we're gonna do one side at a time. You'll have a little pocket here. It looks like a little teepee or a, a triangle. Yep. And so what we're going to do is I like to just hold my piece down here and we're going to take that TP and you kind of push your finger in there to open it up a little bit. And we're going to push that down. So there's a crease right here that we made at one point. And we're going to take that crease and we're going to push it down and we're going to make a triangle. That's okay. Sometimes that happens. Okay. So we want to make sure. It's kind of okay, like a he triangle. got his faster than I than mine. Okay, so it's gonna end up looking like that if you can see. Let's see. There's a triangle now of white. Okay, so we're again gonna do the same thing on the other side. We've got this little piece right here. We're gonna open that piece up. I like to hold this part down so that it doesn't get in my way. And then we're gonna the easiest way to explain that is we're gonna take that line that's there, that fold, and we're gonna push it down. To make a triangle and you want your edge to end at the corner here where you get to the colored part and then it's going to end over here in the center where your your middle your middle um fold is like this. did he get it yeah Thank you. let's see he did it okay so then you're going to end up and you'll know you're doing it right you've got a little crease a little fold that you made that's going to go straight down and it's going to line up with these edges okay now we've got I don't really know what that is. This reminds me of like a, a yak or something. I'm not really sure why, but is that strange? I have no idea what a yak is. A yak? The animal? Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess we got to learn something later. Okay. So now we've got this. And the last folds we're going to make, we're going to do on both sides, and we're going to make the little arms. So 
So what you're gonna do is take that top, tri that top point of your triangle and we're gonna fold it down to meet the middle part of that lapel that we've made. So we're gonna fold it and it kind of folds in at an angle. And then we fold the paper all the way down. So I'll try to get close so you can see what we did. We took that top corner straight down, folded. Okay, and then we're gonna do it on the other side. Top corner of the triangle, folded down, make the crease. So if you can see, we took the top part of the triangle, folded it down to the middle of that lapel area, and creased it down. Henry got it. Yep, and just make sure that this all folds down. Yep, exactly. Good. Very good. Okay. And so then we have our little coats. Henry just got his coat. I've got my coat. And then the last thing that you can do is, go ahead, you can do it. Okay. Make some little buttons and some buttonholes on there. So if you can see, we made some little slots where the buttons go and buttons on the other side. Man, I'm pretty good at holding those up now. I just dropped yeah. it and it, it worked. It, We're having a hard time getting those to stay up for a minute. The power of origami. The, the power of origami. Yeah, so I'm gonna yeah. make mine. Henry's finished his. You can make as many or as few buttons as you want. You can make them big, little, you can make them heart-shaped, square-shaped, make X's, do whatever you want. You could probably make a little pocket line over here too if we wanted to. Kinda looks goofy now that I did it, but it's done. Okay, so there's our coats. Pretty fun, pretty easy. Only like eight steps, I think, so it's not the hardest origami. No. I was working on origami cranes earlier and those are, yeah. those are hard. So I find this one much easier. You can do your little origami coats and think about how nice and cold out it is. Again, you can make a piece of paper um, out of a rectangle. You can make it a square, because like I said, origami, the Japanese art of paper folding. It does need a square piece of paper to make these work. So we hope you enjoy this. It's a fun little activity that you can do on a nice snowy day uh, or sunny day, I guess, if you're doing this from a really beautiful place I'm jealous of. Oh, by the way, there's nine steps. Didn't really matter, but- <laughs> Nine steps, I had it wrong. Anyway, enjoy your nine step origami wherever you may be. And until we can see you again when the garden opens in May, be safe, be well, and we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.